Hi everybody, this is Cynthia Readings and this is going to be a love message reading for you guys. We're going to have a look at what's up with your person. Uh, if you're in no contact, what's happening between you and your person. This is an all signs reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. You will know if it's resonating or not when you listen, even, you know, the first few minutes. Um, and in case it resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended version of this reading. You can also have a look at your zodiac sign reading. Um, those readings are up on my channel. So I want you to hit the like button when you join this reading. Um, and let's have a look. Let me know what is your zodiac sign and what is your person's zodiac sign. Okay, so let's have a look at your person's energy right now. Show me their person's energy. Show me their person's energy, please. We have empty stage. I feel empty without you and you're the, sp oh, ooh, you're the spotlight of my heart. Okay, so there's somebody here who feels like they have lost you, okay? And they're feeling empty without you, this person. It's like being in your presence um, makes them feel safe. It makes them feel secure. And without you, they feel like there's something that's missing, okay? We also have under pressure. Yeah, I'm under a lot of pressure. Please be understanding. This person is feeling very much under pressure, okay? And they're feeling, it's, it's almost like this person is discovering their feelings, okay? They're going through a time phase in their life where they're really getting in touch with their feelings. And I'm, I'm getting that this is somebody who wouldn't normally express a lot, okay? So when you were with this person, like, Maybe they would express here and there, but not a lot, okay? We have three as a crowd. I thought two was better than one, but now I'm torn. Okay, for some of you, maybe this person left you for a third party and that situation didn't work out, okay? And now they're missing you. I feel like this person failed to replace you with that other person. I don't feel like they were trying to replace you. Maybe they were married or there was a third party involvement. But that is not working out for them. They're looking for you, okay? And then we have authenticity. Okay, so this person feels like um, they see you as somebody who's very authentic. They see you as somebody who's very true to themselves. And they just find you very irresistible, your energy, okay? We also have at first sight, a strong initial attraction, instant feelings of love, intense desire to know more. This is somebody ever since they have met you, I feel like even the first time they met you, they felt a strong attraction towards you, okay? And this is something that happened from day one. Some of you may have also felt that same attraction towards them from day one, but I'm really getting here that this is somebody who they feel like you're they feel like you're very unique, you know? And it's like your absence is making them feel you know, like they're missing on something a lot more. Show me more for this person. Moving secretly. I'm moving in silence. Things will change soon. I feel like this person is planning to come forward towards you. They're definitely silent right now, but they're looking back at the memories between you two. And it's it's almost like, look at this card. It's like there is something that is really weighing heavy on this person's heart. Something they need to express to you, okay? That's what they're feeling. Show me more for this person. We have jealousy and no games. Maybe this person tried to make you jealous, okay? Or you got jealous because there was a third party involvement. Look at how there's jealousy right underneath that three card, three's a crowd. I do feel like this person, like, I, I feel like they tried to make you jealous or you maybe got jealous because, you know, you got to know that this was the case and maybe you decided to separate yourself because of that. Um, 
but this card sa says it kills me knowing that there could be somebody else in your life maybe they're they are getting jealous and they're assuming that there's somebody else in their life and you have the card of no game so this person's in this energy of i need to stop playing mind games okay i need to come forward and act right okay you have separation card so right now you are going through separation a lot of you are in this energy where maybe you have decided to walk away from the situation or you're already like in that acceptance stage i do feel like it really hurts i'm also getting that some of you are in this energy right now where you're feeling very like intense emotions like you're feeling all over the place you're trying to start things over in your life yeah maybe you're skeptical about them you also feel like this person's very egotistic okay and like i said there's a lot of emotion emotional baggage and emotional pressure um but you're choosing to separate yourself from it okay we have recurring, not learning lessons need to change. So this this looks like a pattern, okay? This is something you guys were doing again and again and again and again. It, and, and it almost feels like it was hurting you because nothing was changing. And that cycle just kept repeating. Maybe this person wasn't taking you serious in the past, okay? We have curiosity. Now this person is very curious about you want to learn more about you and listen to you this person this person loves to listen to your voice and they just love to listen to you talk so see how you are kind of like separate yeah you have the runner energy see how you have separated yourself from this person and now they're like they're missing all the good times they're missing how you used to talk to them how things just used to be between you two but i feel like at that time when you were so present for them, when you were so there for them, they took you for granted and things came to an end because they were constantly running away from you or running away from their feelings. But you, I feel like when this person did that, it was very hard for you to walk away or to accept the fact that, you know, this person's like that. Give me one more card on this. Give me one more we have committed yeah somebody here may be already committed or they look at you as somebody they would like to be in a long-term commitment with okay we also have devious ways i do feel like this person is manipulative or has been manipulative they like to be in control of things but you know what you know i feel like you you're distancing yourself from this person this person wants to work through conflicts this committed card says working through conflicts and not easily giving up and we also have devious ways manipulative behavior passive aggressive so yeah it does look like somebody was in and out of your life a lot and it left a lot of emotional pain okay um for you like every time they would come and then they would leave they would also make plans with you and then disappear or not return your calls and stuff see you have the king king of wands and the empress at the split of the deck i do feel like both of you are very much um like attracted to one another i feel like one person has blonde hair in this connection and the other one has dark hair okay uh, maybe that's not true uh but I'm, I'm seeing that okay and another thing i'm getting here is that um i feel like whoever like is the feminine in in the connection the feminine energy took a step back and realized their worth okay but but the guy in the connection was taking all the time that he thought he had okay so let's see show me this person's feelings towards them Show me this person's feelings towards them guys in case this reading is resonated resonating do check out the extended in the extended i am going to see where is this relationship going what does your person want to tell you is this moving towards commitment or not and what do you need to know okay so from spirit so all of those questions will be answered in the extended if you're interested but let's see what are these person's feelings what are this person oh five of cups feeling sad torn and 
they're yeah so it's it's almost like an energy of when they had you they weren't really appreciating you and now they're like you know with the knight of cups the two of cups there now this person is like i want to come forward and you know really express i want to really you know offer my love here okay because they're coming from a place of regrets there's a lot of pisces cancer scorpio and libra gemini aquarius energy so maybe you guys have those placements and i feel like there's mutual love between you two one more thing i'm getting here is that when you met this person it just seemed like something that was very much like it was meant to be but it it, it took a toll on your heart because of the way they behaved okay How do they view how do they view them let's see how your person views you how's their person viewing them how's their person viewing them <laughs> they feel like you're not interested okay this person feels like if they text you you're gonna ignore them some of you have also made it known that hey i'm not to be messed with or you may have deleted blocked them they're really like feeling like if they show up, you're going to reject them. And with the Queen of Wands energy, they find you very beautiful. Um, they find you very attractive, okay? And they also find you very mysterious. Because with the Four of Cups, it's like there's fear of rejection here. This person fears that maybe you're going to reject them. Okay, let's see. Show me more. Where is this connection headed towards their future actions, please? What are their future actions? The moon card. With the Hierophant. Ace of Wands. They're definitely going to come forward and offer you something. We also have the King of Wands as their overall energy. So we have the King and the Queen of Wands together, which is a divine counterpart energy, you guys. Okay. Uh, with the Three of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, it does look like this is somebody who who wants to get on the same page with you. And they will even try to get on the same page with you. Okay. But with that Five of, uh, sorry, the Hierophant, the Ace of Wands, and the Moon card, they're a little bit unsure about what to say to you. Okay. This person, I feel like they're their feelings towards you are very intense for some of you maybe their um third party situation came to an end because it does look like somebody's single and they're wanting to mingle so if there was a third party i told you that before as well it looks like it didn't work out for them some of you may be in this mindset of i don't want to be with this person or i don't want to accept somebody's breadcrumbs anymore with the nine of pentacles energy you're trying to focus on your business your finances your goals and you look around in your life and you feel like you know what i have a lot to be grateful for so you may be separating yourself or uh, distancing yourself from them with the star the magician ace of cups you have a new beginning in love coming very soon in your life and i feel like this is going to happen in 2023 okay so this reading is timeless so whenever you watch it it is meant for you but i'm really seeing that you're manifesting love in 2023 okay with the ace of cups and the star card this could be an aquarius or a virgo gemini or even a pisces that you're manifesting so i feel like springtime next year is going to be significant for you especially when it comes to love i'm also seeing that there's success in your work situation some of you may get recognition for your work okay or you may even get a promotion all right but mainly i do feel like there are big manifestations happening for you so with or without this person you have new beginnings in love actually you know so that's about it you guys the signs that i see in this reading are aquarius cancer pisces taurus we have uh aries leo sagittarius which is which is something i said before as well there's a lot of um actually there are a lot of signs here but let me tell you there is a lot of uh pisces cancer scorpio and aries leo sag energy and third there's aquarius cancer and taurus here okay 
so that's about it you guys those were the messages that showed up for you give this video a like if this reading resonated with you do let me know in the comment section and check out the extended linked in the description box below if you would like to know how's your person thinking feeling about you more in depth and i'm gonna see where is this relationship going does this relationship have a future uh what are the messages from spirit that you need to know about this connection and if you're new, looking for new love then what about that so i'm going to try to clarify all of that in the extended do have a look it will be linked in the description box take care and bye bye